afternoon and welcome to another video. Today is Thursday the 8th of September 2016 and in today's video I'm going to be previewing the 8th stop in the PDC European Tour so far this year. It's going to be called the European Darts Trophy and events get to start on Friday the 9th of September and run through 3 days until Sunday the 11th of September 2016 from Mulheim, Germany. Now in this video we're going to break down the CD players, the UK qualifiers, the European qualifiers. When I'm recording this video, I don't know the four home nation qualifiers, so that's a little bit of a mystery in this video. I could have recorded this video later on, but the PDC didn't upload the, the home nation qualifiers in the last event until the Friday, so it'd be too late to do this video. Now, this is the middle of a triple header of European Tour events. We had a European Tour event 7 last weekend. This event's taking place this weekend, and next weekend we've got European Tour Event 9. So it's crucial to get into the European Championships because they're doing an order of merit this year, and the top 32 players are making it. Now we're going to talk through some of the city players in the top 16, then some of the UK 20 of the qualifiers, and some of the 8 European qualifiers. We're going to talk about the dangerous players in all parts of the draw. Now we're going to start with the number one seed Michael Van Gerwen. Now he missed last weekend's European Tour event. It's unlike him to miss it so he must have been injured as he said. A few players always pull out and you think why are they pulling out but Michael Van Gerwen always likes to appear on the European Tour and show face. He thinks it's very good practice and I expect him to be in Mulheim and play very very well. But be interested to see if that injury is taking anything off his performances. And next, we're going to talk about Peter Wright. Now, Peter Wright's got to win another one of these sooner or later. He has been in the European Tour's winner circle before, and I expect him to do similar wise this weekend. He could put, be there or thereabouts, but he has to be consistent with his dart choice and really stick with it. He can't take two sets of darts up on stage. That's ludicrous. You cannot win tournaments by doing that. So he should really stick with the one set and go with them because that will really improve his performance if he's to do well in this weekend. The third seed is James Wade. Now he wants to build up to the World Championships from now. We're just about three months till the World Championships and we need to see a turnabout in James Wade's performances. I think we need to see that 5% uh, improvement from James Wade if he's to compete for tournaments and the back end of tournaments from now on. And I think he really has to show that this weekend. Kim Hybrids, number four seed. Uh, again, he had a very, very good weekend last weekend. He made the final and he'll be hoping to back up that this weekend. Number five seed is Dave Chisnell. Now, Dave Chisnell's a very good scorer, but when push comes to shove, he really just doesn't have it. And you have to show at the back end of tournaments why it's a number five seed. Michael Smith, another previous winner on the European Tour. Again, he will want to recapture some of that form from last year. He's been disappointing European Tour so far this year and expect him to up his performance. Number seven seed, Ian White. Again, a solid performer, but... Again, you could feel there's a lot more that could come from Ian White. Beat of Van der Pass and Yellow Class will take together. Again, they'll show glimpses of what they can do, but there's too much glimpses of, of averageness. You can't be average in these competitions if you're going to win them. Mensor Sulevich picked up his first European trophy last weekend, and he was excellent all the way through last weekend, and I expect him to continue that this weekend. Talking from then, Robert Thornton, Gerwin Price, I expect that they need to produce good performances because they'll slip down if they keep producing average performances and losing early on in these competitions. Garen Price wants to make his name in these competitions because he really wants to boost his world rankings and Robert Dunn wants to maintain his world rankings. Again, similar with Alan Norris and Terry Jenkins. They're in a similar boat to the previous two players I was talking about. Number 16 seed Simon Whitlock started to show some signs of form, which is very, very interesting. He took out some very good checkouts last week, including a 1 5 2 checkout, which was my highlight of the weekend, where he went treble 19, treble 19, double 19. It was an absolute fantastic finish, and it's great to see Simon Whitlock produce the showstoppers, which we're used to him seeing. Now we're going to move on to some of the dangerous UK qualifiers. Now, We'll start with the first three. Now, Daryl Gurney, Mervyn King and Joe Cullen could all produce it on the day. It's a very, very good performance to beat both Daryl Gurney and Mervyn King. And Joe Cullen's a maverick player. One of the days he'll turn up, it'll be magnificent. The next day he will be average. And he has to have those magnificent days if he's to compete. Other players we can talk about, 
Josh Payne, now he's won a Pro Tour event this year in the Players' Championship in the sixth event. Now, he'll be hoping to back that up and really show in the European Tour his form from the Pro Tour. Other players we can talk about, Kyle Anderson. Again, Kyle Anderson, a very, very dangerous player. You don't want to face him early on because once he gets going, he's a very, very play hard player to beat. Other players that qualified, Robbie Green, again, top-notch player but he has to be more consistent. You've also got R rapid Ricky Evans and Devin Peterson who could also chuck a spanner in the works. The eight European qualifiers, my dangerous ones, are Crystal Reyes. Now Crystal Reyes has shown in World Championships previously how good a player he can be, but he has to try and replicate that form. We haven't seen it so far this year from Crystal Reyes, but I think we will see it sooner or later. And Vincent van der Voort, again, very, very quick player, but very, very inconsistent. You have to show more consistency if he's to do well in this competition. And as I said before, I don't know the four home nations qualifiers at this time. So what do I think is going to happen in this competition? I think they'll take a very, very good performance to beat Michael Van Gerwen. I think he'll make the final. And I think we could have another Mensal Showage final. I think that he can replicate his form last week. And he's in terrific form. He gets better week on week. And I think we'll see a final between... Michael Van Gerwen and Mensor Soyuch if the draw sees it. If we don't see that, I think we could see someone like Yella Klassen go far in this competition. And someone like Dave Chisnell or Peter Wright if they if avoid each other in the draw. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up on the video. If you haven't enjoyed the video, please leave a comment and feedback in the comment section below. Or you can leave positive comments in the comment section below. Or you can leave it via my Twitter, which will be in the description below. And until later on this evening, I'll preview day one of the European Darts Trophy. I will see you then. Goodbye.